was good 10k game now today's video i'm gonna be talking about leangelo and lamello ball now we all know these two guys are currently still playing overseas in lithuania leangelo has declared for the nba draft not too long ago and also lamello ball is expected to play overseas in lithuania for two more seasons until he can enter the nba draft now i know a lot of you guys are informed about what's been going on with the ball family playing overseas in lithuania and basically everything is just not going out as planned just because they're not on the same page with the head coach i know you guys been watching ball in the family and when you watch it you see that lavar ball has basically been talking about the head coach a lot just because the head coach has been doing a lot of things differently now we all know the head coach he's been coaching the lithuania team for at least 30 years and basically once lavar ball came in the head coach is not going off his plan just because he feel like it's different and it just don't work when you look at the situation lavar ball and the head coach have two different situations and they see things differently as you can see lavar ball he wants to run fast pace he wants lamello and leangelo to start so they can push the offense and run fast break and get fast points but the head coach he likes to run plays he's more like an old school type of coach just because he's been coaching for a long time and he just know what he's doing so they just have two different perspectives on running the offense and as you can see it's been causing a lot of drama just because the main reason of the ball brothers coming to lithuania was for them to actually have playing time and start and get some games in but right now they're in lithuania they're not really getting in a lot of playing time just because the head coach feel like he need to impress other players the head coach is not thinking about just winning he's thinking about impressing all the other players and letting everybody play but as you can see they've been losing games and even before the ball family came they was already losing games so that's really the main issue lavar ball wants his sons to play and he wants to win games because he hate losing we all know lavar don't like losing he always wants to win games but the head coach is like he don't really care about winning of course he wants to win but at the same time he wants to impress all of his players he wants everybody to play and everybody to be satisfied playing the game of basketball but it just don't work like that and it's just like lavar ball he has a mission and that's to get both his sons to the nba but you have to win games you got to play on the court for nba scouts to look at you and want to draft you on their team it's just very hard for lavar and the ball brothers just because lavar can't just go to the coach and be like look the only reason we're here is so i can get lanzo and lamello to the nba if they say that to the coach and the coach is definitely going to feel some type of way and not going to play lamello and lanzo ball because he's going to feel like he's being used and so as the other players so it's just like he can't just go up to them and say that he literally had to be cordial with the coach so they can be on good terms that he can actually put Lamelo and Leandro in his basketball system with his team and just put them on the court and it's just really really hard because LeVar Ball is used to seeing his sons start and seeing his sons take over the team but it's just like the head coach is not letting him do that of course the head coach will let him do it during the big baller games and stuff like that just because those are not the real games the big baller games are basically warmer games and the actual games are the lkl games and so far leandro and lamello both have played eight lkl games and leandro he's averaging 14 points three rebounds shooting 42 field goal percentage shooting 42 percent from the three-point line and lamello he's averaging six points two assists shooting 26 field goal percentage shooting 25 percent from the three-point line so as you can see if you compare the lkl stats to the big baller game stats it's really really different just because the lkl is really really serious and i understand it from the head coach side of view with this just because the lkl is serious man and he know the Melo and leandro can't just come in and dominate every single team in the lkl league but LeVar, he feels differently. LeVar feels like if you put Leandro and LaMelo on the court together, they can dominate any team just because in high school they went 60 and 0. And it's understandable from both sides. It's understandable why LeVar feels this way just because he always had trust in his kids. But the head coach, he just like, look, I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been losing a lot and it's not that easy. So you can see it from both side of views but that's what the problem is they just not clicking and as you can see the head coach is just not going with lavar ball's plan and this we had to say recently about lamello and leandro joining the lithuanian team now he said his team is distracting and it has been difficult to win games ever since lamello and leandro came into the equation our team is not that bad you know this whole thing got us off track a bit not a bit actually but a lot we got lucky that they came from the off-court side of things and from the on-court side. As I've said before, if they would have came alone, since they are under big influence from their father and what LeVar says they do, you could try and force them to do things. With him around, they are so relaxed, so it's tough. We let this slide in the first month, and now it's hard to correct it. Other players feel it, so it's not an easy situation. Now, just reading what he had to say, 
he's basically just blaming everything on the Ball family. He's just saying that LeVar Ball has brought his sons and tried to take over the team, and now they're losing a lot of games, which is false. They was already losing a lot of games before the Ball family even came to Lithuania. So, of course, he's just going to try to throw all the dirt on LeVar. But honestly, in my opinion, I feel like this is just not him. I feel like all the other players that's playing on the Lithuanian team feel this way too. Just because once Lienzo and Lamelo comes in, they both take a lot of shots in games. They don't really pass the ball like that. They only pass the ball to each other just because they have a mission. That's to make it to the NBA. So they try to make themselves look good. And it's understandable. But basically, honestly, in my opinion, I just feel like Lithuania is just not a good team for the Ball Bears to play at. They need to try to find a different team that will let them do their thing. Lienzo, he's already entered the NBA draft. So Lienzo don't have to worry about it. But for LaMelo, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like LeVar should move LaMelo to a different team and let LaMelo grow with a different team that he can take over and have a good connection with the head coach and basically just do his thing and grow. Because if he keep playing with the Lithuania coach, I don't think it's going to be good for LaMelo. There's going to be a lot of problems. So I just feel like LeVar Ball just need to move LaMelo for his next two years and move him to a different team so LaMelo can grow and become a better player. But I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you press that notification button. TK Game, we out.